Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This morning I received a message from the Lord to give to you. But first I want to show you one of my shirts you haven't seen yet. This is my second sweatshirt. I only did two of them. And this is also all stitched with embroidery thread. See, can you tell it says Yeshua going down, Jesus, our Savior, loves you. I couldn't do this now. <laughs> I haven't worn them much, so they're like new almost, because I don't really tolerate sweatshirts. But it is cold in Alabama today, so good day for a sweatshirt. Anyway... Um, I asked the Lord, would he give me a message? And after praying in the Spirit for a while, he gave me one. Uh, let's see, it starts right here, Monday, 11-21-2016. And he started at 7-25 this morning. <laughs> Let me try to get more comfortable. All right, here we go. So I said, Lord, do you have a word for me this morning? He said, yes, daughter. I have a word for my children. Stay in prayer. Fast for power from on high. Too many refuse to do this. It cleanses your body and prepares you for what I have for you to do. Fasting is important when you want to hear from me. It shows me that you are serious about serving me. Now, okay, you don't have to go into the desert and fast for 40 days without food or water. Okay? Um, it can be simple. You can just do without all your entertainment for a day and spend that time in prayer. You can do without two meals. That's what I do. And then don't eat until after six. And I try to spend extra time in prayer. Okay, so there's different ways to fast. And you start off with one meal if you've never done it before. Give up one meal and spend that time in prayer. You see? And he'll honor it. All right, let me continue. I love you, my children. You are my prized lambs, each and every one of you. To those of you who don't know me like you should, pray more fast and ask me to fill you with my Holy Spirit. So you may have some, but he wants you full. Ask him to fill you completely full. That is how you get power from on high. That is how you become able to pray in the Spirit, as I do desire you all to do. I do desire it. You are my children. I am your God. I want to hear from you all. I want to hear from you all. Each and every day. Throughout the day. Some think you can't bother me with your request. You think it's such a small thing. But all of your concerns are my concerns. I care about everything that you care about. Bring it all. Sorry. Bring it all to me in prayer. Your worries, your joys, your petitions. Am I too small to handle it all? No, my children. I am not. I am your God Almighty, and I can handle all your requests, needs, and problems. Let me repeat that. I am your God Almighty, 
and I can handle all your requests, needs, and problems. Bring them to me. Not to man first. I will tell you how to deal with problems if you are willing to hear from me. Can you hear my still small voice? Can you hear me speaking? Let me speak to you. Pray that you can hear from me this day. This day. I have an exclamation mark there. Pray that you can hear from me this day. You are running out of time. I will be there for my bride. Soon. And I do mean soon. Please be ready. Stay in forgiveness for one another. Remember, none of you is perfect. Not yet, but soon. Soon you will be. I can hardly wait for all my children to be up here in heaven with me. You will come up here first. You will get to see what I have waiting for you. Be ready. This is your Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, speaking. That's how he said it. That's what I wrote. Oh, wait. I'm not finished. This is your Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, speaking your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, I died for you and rose again three days later for you. I'm waiting for you. Amen, amen, amen. And the message ended at 7.39 a.m. Okay, so I said, well, Lord, I'd really, really like to have some scriptures to go along with that, you know. And so I prayed a little bit, and I took my Bible, and I opened it up. It just went open to John chapter 1. And the part I'm supposed to read, okay, if you want to get your Bibles, I, I am using my King James because it's super giant print. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to change the these and the thous to you and me, okay? But it'll be King James Version. All right. Chapter 1, I'm, not, I'm only going to verse 14 and leaving part of it out. It has to do with what I spoke, what he spoke about. All right? John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So I got from this that even the very smallest of things, the smallest of critters, the, the smallest things he cares about. He was showing me that. There was not one thing made that was not made by him. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. And then it goes on to talk about John the Baptist. But in verse 8, it says, but he, John, was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light, which is Jesus. Verse 9. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Lighted every man that comes into the world. 
that mean the light of Jesus comes into us when we're born? That's what it sounds like. He, verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So, you know, if his own family, neighbors, relatives, friends, received him not, should we expect anything different? Take joy in knowing that you are on the right path to the point where your own family and friends don't want anything to do with you. That's what this is saying. Take joy in it. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Power from on high. That's what it's saying to them who received him. Okay, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Verse 14, and the word which is capitalized, was made flesh and dwelt among us. These words don't sound like King James words, do they? They sound already like new King James words. Hmm. Shineth. Should have said shines. Anyway, let me finish. It just doesn't sound like King James. Anyway, verse 14. And the word was made flesh, and he dwelt among us. We beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And I'm going to stop there. I love those scriptures. In John 1 through verse 14 and I pray that this has blessed you I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection so it'll go up and I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you when you watch it bye bye for now